Yeah, hey everybody, this is Ian from Mindful Marketplace, and in today's video, we're going to take a brief introductory look at Talent Cards, talentcards.com. This is a really cool, super creative, and uh, tons of fun uh, learning management system for uh, creating micro learning modules or nano learning content. So really short, succinct, fun, creative, um, you know, educational content that is delivered via an app. It's, it's the, the entire platform is aimed at folks who want to uh, deliver content on mobile devices. So your uh, clients, your customers, your subscribers would be accessing your cards within the app on their phone. So it's a little bit different than other LMS-oriented uh, platforms that I've covered, other types of software, but without a doubt, Talent Cards is the most enjoyable uh, learning management system that I've used. Now, I don't even know that you can call it necessarily an, an, a, an LMS or learning management software or system, depending on the acronym you prefer. It's more of a, um, just a fun, engaging way of delivering content that is visually oriented in a, um, you know, in a really highly engaging way. And I keep on saying that because that is really my experience thus far. So let me show you some of the examples. I'll give you the the uh, the default card set that comes with your talent cards account and you can modify this or you can just use this as an example uh, you know there's lots of cool ways of working with the templates that they give you and this for our purposes we'll just call a template so as you can see all of this is card driven so you know all of this imagine you're looking at this on a phone and you're essentially just scrolling through these cards and learning a new skill in this case let's say learning about talent cards now you can see this is actually a double-sided card so it actually flips around so you can tap the card to you know, to have it a uh, double side view. And again, I'm saying this poorly because I've recorded a shit ton of these today and it sounds like my brain is just starting to peter out. But you essentially can choose between either a one-sided card or a more interactive two-sided card view for your audience and you can you know you obviously use your imagination to see all the various ways that you could deliver one piece of content on this side and the other piece of content on the other a question and answer sort of thing a quiz that sort of stuff now talent cards also comes with some really cool quiz technology it's just really awesome and you can't do it justice by even looking at it on a desktop which is what i'm doing now on a laptop, in this case my MacBook, uh, you know, in a phone setting or viewport, it is much, much more engaging and much more exciting to actually experience. Now, again, you can, so as, as a, as someone who's working with the, you know, the content creation side of our platform myself. You can see I just cloned that card. So you can use clone, you can edit, you can move them around, reorder them. So in this case, let's say I'm cloning this one. So you can see over here, there's a clone copy of this and a clone copy of that. And this allows you to take a template like this and play with it with the clone version so that you know you're not losing, you're not losing the original uh, you know, the the original template, which is obviously professionally done by the folks behind talent cards, rather than, you know, screwing up yourself and not having, you know, then having to start a whole new set just to, you know, revisit those cards. Again, I said that sort of badly as well. Let's look at the backgrounds for an example. So in this case, 
I want to change the background. I can upload an image. And the other cool thing you can do is you can search for images. So let's say I type in certificate. Award, let's change that to award. Uh, ba, 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 prize. All right, well, that's a little weird. That's generally not been my experience with searching. So something's clearly wrong here with searching. Generally, what this lets you do is pull images from around the web and apply those to your card. So in this case, we can upload an image. Let me just go into one of my image folders here. And I'll just pull this one up. Actually, I'm going to pull this one up. All right, that didn't work either. I'm obviously knocking this out of the park at this point. Let's do this. That was actually a GIF image, so maybe it didn't like that for the background. And now you can see that is now saved. And that's the front of the card. And that's the back of the card, which is the image that I just added. So I'm going to move this up. I'm going to add some text here. Save it. I'm going to add a link. So I want to link to one of my own URLs for more information. This is ideal for those of you who want to deliver this very visual oriented content, but want to supplement, you know, this card content, but want to actually supplement your cards with more resource, more resources, or more uh, instruction, or more content, PDFs, you know, YouTube videos, uh, audio files, you can pretty much do it all. And as you see, if I click on that here, it's going to bring up my, you know, or our community, right? This is our Mindful Marketplace Partnership Program which I'm delivering again, in this case, through the card within Talent Cards. All right, so this is pretty much, I mean, you can record audio as well, which is awesome. So you can actually record directly into the uh, software from your desktop, You can, or you can upload uh, you know, your audio instead. Again, this is super duper cool stuff. I mean, really blown away by how cool this is. It's quite affordable. It's only, we, you can actually start for free, but uh, the next tier up I think is $49. And that gives you, that gives you the ability to create unlimited uh, amounts of card sets and unlimited groups and unlimited this and that. Uh, and it gives you a 50 um, users, right? So, you know, the only challenge that I think folks are going to have using something like talent cards is how to monetize this in a, uh, you know, in a very strategic way because you can't actually take payments through the app itself. So this has to be something that you're taking payments from or on through an external uh, store or digital um, you know, e-commerce site, you have to be able to incorporate this into a larger strategy, even if it's simply having some kind of Stripe enabled page, which uh, takes a payment and then forwards folks thereafter to, you know, download the app and then access your, you know, private platform via their, uh, you know, their, their mobile device. All right, so I'm going to cover much more uh, about talent cards and how we're going to use them and some of the really cool and creative uh, things you can do. Here you can see we have some different 
groups set up already so that we can give different levels of access and different content points to different segments within our larger audience. We have a kids-oriented um, platform for mindfulness and parents and children. We have entrepreneurial content, and then we have more mindfulness, mental health, personal growth, and you know, uh, meditative sort of content as well, all of which I've segmented you know, using different groups. So you can just switch the groups and the content is completely separate so there's no bleed over or blend or conflation between, you know, um, the content on, let's say, the kids' platform and the meditative platform. Although if you want there to be, you can also copy content from one, uh, you know, from one group to the next. Lastly, I'll say, you know, I just started using this in the last week or so, so there's much that I don't yet know, uh, you know, relative to what is actually possible with talent cards, but it's really super exciting. I've used tons and tons of learning management software, course delivering uh, platform software that does all sorts of things in the educational space, and I can't remember doing a working with a platform that's been as much fun as this one. Okie doke. So I hope that's been helpful for you. And as always, if you, any if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email. Hi at mindfulmarketplace.com. Uh, and I apologize for some of the you know, scatter shot or scatter brained uh, pieces of this particular review. As you know, again, I've been recording videos, it seems like, since uh, you know 2018 at this point. My brain is just tired. So again, any questions, feel free to ask, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks.